Welcome back everybody to Funky Star TV. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Now, we are back once again to Samuel Ekman because we have some uh, informations. And uh, these particular informations, they are not good for the so-called uh, IPOB people when they follow Samuel Ekman. Okay? This news is not a good one for your people. Okay? Um, now we know that uh, Samuel Ekman is uh, in the detention. He's not yet sentenced. And I think uh, he was in the court, I think, uh, today. And uh, <laughs> let us start with the questions when I ask Samuel Ekman, first of all, before we dive into waiting any Naya Abaribe, the senator representing Abia states. I don't know if uh, Ayin Abaribe is still a senator, but he was a senator representing Abia state, a state where none can come from. And Ayin Abaribe knows too much about the happenings on the ground. Okay? But before we go into Ayin Abaribe's um, um, comments, Make we take a look on waiting the prosecuting counsel ask Samuel Ekman and the answer when Samuel Ekman gave to them. In fact, Samuel Ekman denied IPOB completely. Denied that he is the Prime Minister of Biafran land. I've told you people to take it easy. Okay, because the only leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, when we know is Mazen Kano, there is no one else. And when Nandekano was fighting for the Biafra people, he was not fighting it with violence. Okay, he was not fighting it with violence because there is no video online. When we see Nandekan with all those multitude of people, maybe committing crimes or causing violence or beating police or attacking police or kidnapping police or, you know, doing all, all sorts of nonsense. No, Nandekan is not like that. Nandekan freedom fighting is just peaceful one. And he was doing it diplomatically, hoping that the UN and some other foreign government officials he could come and help him to actualize the Biafran states. All right? Now, uh, the prosecutor asked Samuel Ekman, let's go through uh, the questions. You are the Biafran prime minister, they asked Ekman. Samuel Ekman said, no, my lord, I am not the Biafran prime minister. The prosecuting counsel asked again, what are you then? Samuel Ekman said, I am a content creator. Prosecuting counsel asked Samuel Ekman, do you have any proof? Okay, so for Ona, when they claim Samuel Ekman a prime minister, he is not. He is not elected, he is not appointed. This man a man went there for... Um, um, Finland, when they do his own thing, they make money on top on a head, on a when be the gullible people from Biafra land. I can't even attest if the people online call him Samuel Lekma, the Biafra Prime Minister. I don't even know if they are um, uh, Biafra people. You know? So, anyway, um, that is for the questions when they ask Samuel Lekma. And he said, he is not the Biafran Prime Minister. He is not an IPOB member. Okay? He denied IPOB vehemently. He denied himself as the so-called Biafran Prime Minister. Yes, if we not fight for... Uh, a country called Biafran land. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not by violence. It is not by kidnapping people. It is not by 
I mean sponsoring all sorts of things. Now, I am not claiming that Samuel Lekma is sponsoring anything. It is just what the news is saying. Let's assume, say, now him, they do all these things. It doesn't make any sense. Because none of the canon cannot do things like this. He cannot do things like this. And then Samuel Lekman want to come and jeopardize the Biafran agitation. So, if na violence, when I want to take fight for this Biafra, nobody is ready to support violence against the government, against your people, against the citizens, against the governors, against the president. No, nobody will ever, ever support an agitation that is causing violence. If you want to do your Biafra, do your Biafra peacefully. Peacefully. You can't be burning down Biafra land and you'll be enjoying your life far away in Finland. If I thought, see that someone like me, they do all these things. Now, I get some people, when the news they tell us, say, man, these guys, they are there protesting for someone like me. So I have to still give you people some advice because the man that you are supporting have denied IPOB vehemently. Say no. He is not an IPOB member. He is not a Biafran prime minister. That is what I have to tell you people before I jump into the Eninaya Abaribe Mata consigning Samuel Ekma. Make we take a look to see whether uh, Eninaya Abaribe they tell us the full story about Samuel Ekma or not. Make we see because there are these people online that is coming out to defend Samuel Ekma every now and then. Ladies and gentlemen, five people or six people from Biafran land, including the government, including the governors, including the Hannes and Digbo, they can't be telling us lies. They are all saying the same thing. And they are all happy that finally Samuel Lekma was caught by Finland government. Now, the I don't I forgot the name of this particular soldier that is coming out all the time to talk about Ekma's repartition. Ladies and gentlemen, the matter is serious. Nigerian government they said no. Finland people cannot solve the problem. They want Samuel Lekma back. By all means, every time they are coming out on television to say the same thing that there is no way they're going to leave someone like that. In fact, I was watching some program today in Arise TV, and uh, the other man there, uh, what is this man's name? Ruben, Ruben Abati, was even saying that there was a man who even said that they shouldn't allow someone like that to be in the prison, they should, they should shut him dead imagine talk so again that is not a responsible way of talking because we don't even know if Samuel Lekma is guilty or not so we all allow the process to play out in Finland then anything when Nigerian government won't do may them begin do one again the news also said that uh, the attorney general of Nigeria and so many prominent Nigerian people, politicians, all of them, they enter Finland to go meet Samuel Lekma, to go see how they want to bring back Samuel Lekma, meaning that they are lobbying and these people, they can lobby with any amount of money to make sure Samuel Lekma come back, conserve in Nigeria. For the people that they said they lost their lives during Samuel Lekma's activities they are there all of them don't go Finland say man we must get some Alekma back just the same way when they bring down the cannon back they want to show some Alekma something so but it is not up to anybody hmm? because at the end of the day we all have to wait for the process hmm? to go through so we see whether some Alekma is guilty or not guilty.
That's it. Make we take a look on what in our body bed. They tell all of us. Samuel Ekman said he is a content creator. See it or in Naya Abari Bay. She not only in Abari Bay representing Abia South has accused Samuel Ekman, a self proclaimed leader of the prescribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, of trivializing his activities by describing himself as a content creator. Ekman, who was arrested last week in Finland, is currently being detained by the Pajat's home district court on charges of spreading terrorist propaganda via social media. Speaking on Channel Television's Politics Today, on Monday, Abari be welcomed Ekma's arrest, noting that Ekma had admitted his action were staged for content creation. Abari be argued that this admission highlights Ekma's role in inciting violence while attempting to represent himself as harmless. In an interview cited by Vanguard, Abari B criticized Ekma's action accusing him of diverting from IPOB original non-violence objectives. He explained that while IPOB initially sought a peaceful referendum, its course has been hijacked by criminal elements using the Biafra struggle as a cover for illegal activities, including kidnapping and violence in the southeast. These actions do not reflect the will of the Igbo people, Abaribi stated, emphasizing that such criminality undermines the legitimate aspiration of the region. The senator also reiterated the importance of releasing IPOB leader Mazen Nandekano, insisting that his freedom is a critical step towards addressing the crisis in the southeast and restoring peace to the region. So, um, this is what Abaribi said, and I hope we all understand everything being said right here by Enyinaya Abaribi. So, Samuel Ekma changed their initial agenda, then turn it to money making machine or killing machine. If I thought he is the person responsible for all this crime they are accusing him of. So the only thing that we are going to do is that we are going to wait to see if uh, Samuel Ekma will be convicted by the Finland government. But